Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thurs. Today's topic is Tampa Bay top three jerseys. John and Shrems, take it away. I feel like we're going to get some heat for this list. Yeah, it mm, right off the bat too. Yeah, yeah, it's it's immediate. You'll have you'll have to explain yourself because <clears throat> so, I've I've put this one slightly lower, but you have good reasoning for it. So number three, the one you expect on our worst three list is the Storm jersey, and uh, look, there there are multiple parts to it. First off, our worst sub list was all this corporate schlock that was way misses, lazy, unimaginative, cut and fill yep. nicknames. This has character. And I think that's why this one has stayed around. And whereas Wild Wing, everyone looked at it and went, no, that's corporate Disney crap. This this is bad in a bad movie kind of way. Whereas some of these other ones are bad in like a Sharknado, we're trying too hard kind of way. Almost like a cult classic. It's a cult classic. And it was around for three years. Phil, when was this we used? Um, 96 to 99. Which is a lot longer than than uh, Wild Wing was used. Six games. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you know, and and you, you, you think about how how rare it is still, even with three years of use. Yeah. Um, no one ever talks like, and then the reverse retro, I think, is also opened it. Like, okay, first off, it's fun, but seeing it in white with the black sleeves is like it could have been so much worse. Yeah. No, I agree. If if anything, I think that if if this had all been black with blue waves, I think this would have been a much more even even better look than it is. Yeah. Um, or continue this blue, but you know, you imagine you take away some of the lightning's punch. But I mean, it's fun, it's interesting, it's a a cult classic, and compared to what else Tampa Bay has in the hopper, I think this is the only time they've actually stepped up and been fun. I think. I think. I would have put it in between, like not bottom three, not top three, but kind of split in there. Once you saw the Bolts jerseys, and like you said, very low effort, just like threw it on there because we needed a cash grab or something like that. My my biggest thing about these is this font. Like this has got to be like a nightmare to stitch. Oh, yeah. What an that's, absolute disaster. That's why mine is sent away right now. I'm uh-huh. not doing that myself. Um, but we made comparisons to this one uh, in the reverse retro. This is screen printed on, but the yep. reverse retro, these flame, uh, these lightning bolts are are stitched. It's like they they kind of went for it with reverse retro. Oh, absolutely. And I, well, and I think that they the whole point of this third jersey series then was we can print on fabric now. Like, yeah. How much can we print on fabric? And but it, like it's a it is a very much a product of its time, and it's fun and it's different. And I think the hate it gets is somewhat misplaced. And I don't think that's nostalgia talking either, because I don't remember these being used much. No, Tampa Bay hockey in the in ninety six to ninety nine is not something that was on nationally very much. That's fair. That's a good point. They weren't really, they they weren't really the team they are today. No, not at all. So twenty two, twenty three. I uh, I'm a bit. I like. I think. I think just it's it's not what anyone should aspire to be. You can't try to do something like this and succeed. This only happens when the right things come together, like a bad movie. And then three years, it's it's not something they hung on to for far too long. I no, mean, no, like, yeah, it, past right. It. It's good. The quick enough is forgotten, unlike say the Pooh Bear, right? Everyone, no, sure. everyone remember, everyone that puts sure, out sure. that on all these lists. This, I also expect to get some hit, some heat for because it it is a Toronto jersey. It's literally one stripe different from a Toronto jersey, but uh, looks good. Objectively, looks good. The Tampa Bay Lightning Hockey Club. Like it's a like it's a Premier League team or something, Phil. You have on, and I just noticed this when you walk by. You have on the version of this with the name, and you flip to you. Okay, one second. Okay. And and you're gonna have to show off that crest. No, 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 not the that. Crest. The crest. Right there. crest. How the view it actually says Tampa Bay on it, which I like more than this a little bit. This looks like it would be a shoulder patch. I think there's. Uh. There's a general shame of teams that we have to say who we are. Like we we put it out, we were all wearing minor league jerseys for an event, and we every minor league jersey we had has the name written on it. The logos aren't recognizable point. enough to just exist. Yeah. Which I think when a team is well recognized enough, they don't want the words on there so that it's anywhere. It's ubiquitous. Everyone knows. Yeah. Tampa Bay has never had that until this point. Because it's always said Tampa Bay or Tampa Bay Lightning until here, where they first say that, okay, we're good enough to be 
recognizable. Yeah. And they happen to put an even more generic logo out there that's compared to literally everything. That's fair. But uh, for all these detractions, it's a good look. In a vacuum, it's a very good look. Yeah, I I love this blue. Like this is one of my favorite hues in the league. Like it really stands out. So when they wear these? So it's from t 2011 to I can't understand your language here. 16. So it says to 16, but it also says to present. So this is the one that Adidas. It's still under Adidas. They're still kind of using it. So when now. they they when Adidas adapted it to the new cut, it's still right. it's still the same look. Still the same look. And what I like is that they use black very sparingly like i know it's in their it's in their system somewhere but just on the outline and the number and that's it that's actually a fan response i remember when this came yeah. out uh the original one had no black it was just blue and white and it was just a plain stripe on the pants and the fans insisted they had to make some change now they couldn't change the jersey design because i guess that takes too long with reebok and whatnot no, that makes sense but they're like okay where can we splash in black and the numbers were one place they could splash in black and then on the pants they put the lightning bolt back okay so that was that was their way of doing Not some bad. damage Good control. feedback from the fans. Yeah, and uh, I I think it, it does. It actually absolutely adds a little bit more of a pop. Again, it's still too Toronto like. Yeah, yeah. I wish they'd make a, just a black version of this jersey, and I think it'd be fine. Maybe with some blue trim or something. Maybe like that. so. Yeah, right. I mean, you might get into Kings territory, but at least that's not a division in the same division. Yeah, that nah, makes sense. So, it uh, considering what else is left in this pantheon, um, let's go back to the start. Yeah. Rarely do teams get it right from the get-go. And I wouldn't say this is right, right, but it's the best that they got. Yeah. Bill, when they use these. 92 to 2007. And then... It's a long run. It is. And then you have 2001 to 2007, but I, I can't read this. The, the font was wildly different before this. It was all it, it was more, much closer to these, yep. jagged and, and black on black with blue outlines. and Very, very hard to read. This is when it starts to get classy in 2001. But I like this, and I forgot the shoulder patch existed. But I very much like this this from the get go, like the the start of this whole thing, like you embrace that you are hockey in Florida. I never realized that it's the state of Florida behind that logo. Yeah, yeah. never yep. see that till now. But the the black and the silver and the blue, like that that this is really well done. Very yeah. very exceptionally. Well I done. mean, the design is basic. I'll give them that, but. Uh... It does work, and I, I the black one with the white shoulders I, arguably is better, but I can't find one at a reasonable price at this point. Yeah. So, like, maybe eventually it'll add to my collection. We can sure. add that as a short, but I think for Tampa Bay, this is the best that we could come up with. Yeah, and it's not great, but it's not terrible. It just is. It it very yes, it, it very is. much it just is. Whereas a lot of teams, there's a lot of things you can hate. I think other than laziness and blandness, there's not a lot to hate in Tampa Bay. Yeah, I so. Know. With one exception. Now, uh, tell us what you think. What would you put on this list? Uh, he's Shrems. I'm John. Phil, take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds.